Boy and Dilabic here. Today we're going to talk about something really cool, as always. So I've already talked about the NAS Pi for the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 2 or 3, if you want to create your own little um, NES Classic. So today we're going to talk the next step, which is how to include heat sinks and fans onto this guy, because that is something that is very, very important. I would not run a Raspberry Pi without at least heat sinks. Um, you know, you can get by without a fan, but definitely get heat sinks because this thing, you know, it gets hot. It's a computer, right? Especially if you are running uh, the more advanced consoles, uh, emulators, uh, such as um, N64 and PlayStation 1, obviously. The Raspberry Pi struggles with those at best, you know? I mean, it's just reality. So get heat sinks and definitely get a fan. So I'll show you what I got here. So let's get started. All right, so here's the package. I've already opened it up, but uh, I didn't touch anything inside. I just want to show you guys what it actually comes with. So it's just, you know, just a regular package here, right? So when you open it up, there's really just two things. And there you go, it's empty. So first you have the actual uh, cooling, the heat sinks, I mean. I mean, that's all it is. It is really tiny, right? So what's gonna happen? We're gonna take this guy right here, we're gonna open it up, and then we're gonna install it. Now, I've already removed the screws just to save them some time. So let's open this guy up. And uh, if you've seen my other video, you know how to put this together. So basically, we're just gonna have to take it out now. And uh, as I mentioned in my other video, this is where the fan's gonna go. So let us, first of all, remove with the screwdriver that came with it, we're gonna remove the two screws here. So let me do that right now. Now I should also mention, I did remove the micro SD card. So make sure to do that, cause you know, that way uh, it's easier to take this thing out. So let's take this thing out and then we should be able to just, uh, there you go. Just to take it outside, remove this. Okay, so let's put all that aside from now. So here we have the Pi again. Now let's take the heat sinks. You have three of them, as you have noticed, and there's a reason for that. So. So basically one is going to go here, which I believe this is the, I think that's the processor. Could be wrong, but I think that's it. One's going to go here and then one is actually going to go here at the bottom, right? And in order to do this, it's actually very simple. There is a tape over here. So you just take this guy off. The main thing is to obviously cover the area and, you know, uh, Firm it uh, applied firmly, but don't be too, you know, too rough with it. So I'm going to put it there and just touch it a little bit just so it, you know, actually tapes onto it. And, uh, you know, now you're good. This isn't going anywhere. Let's do the same thing with this guy. There you go. Take that off. And same thing. This is a little trickier since it's smaller, but there you go. You got that one. Push it or press it a little bit and done. That's it. And then the one at the bottom. Now, I have seen in some videos um, the people are saying you don't really need the one at the bottom because if I remember correctly, the one at the bottom is responsible for, for the RAM and the earlier models were actually overheating, but these ones don't overheat anymore. Uh, it could be true. I'm not saying it isn't. Uh, my opinion is uh, what the heck you got it. Who cares? It's not going to harm it. So might as well. Right? So again, very tricky. 
that there. There you go. It's done. So when you're done with this part, you'll have two heat sinks at the top. You'll have the one at the bottom. Now let's just make sure that this actually fits properly before we go on. It should, but you know, you just want to make sure. So when I put this back here, yeah, all right. See the case, that's the beauty about this case. It is made for all this in mind. So yeah, that's good. Um, well, actually, we got to do this anyway. So uh, this is what it looks like. So let's put these two screws back here. Okay, so this is in here, all good. Let's attach these cables. So remember, this one goes in the middle, top, the USB one, the network one will, well, there's only one spot for it to go, so no problems there. Okay, here's a tip. You probably, I probably should have done this before. Yeah, now it's a pain in the ass to actually get this thing in here. So I'll learn from my mistakes, attach these first before you screw down the board. Okay. All right, well, we live and learn. Let's disconnect, uh, let's unscrew these. Okay, now it's all in there. And let's put the screws back on. Okay, so that's all good now. If you remember from my last video, when you're connecting this guy, it goes to the last uh, eight pins, or sorry, 10 pins, I guess technically. Uh, the only thing that matters is make sure the red goes to, to the outside, is facing the outside, and then you just connect these, boom. There's that, so we're all connected up. Now, let's get this guy. This is a very similar process. Okay, so this one. Okay, so a lot of stuff here. So you've got the actual fan, you've got the screws, and that's it. So that's what's here. Now what you got to do, you got to take the top, you have to uh, align this up, so let me see, this goes in here, basically just goes inside, uh, but you want to make sure, so this is the front, so this will be going this way, so it goes here, so you want to make sure that this cable is facing, that this cable here, this one here, is uh, facing up since it's going to go up here yeah because it has to connect to these pins here right so I think that makes sense let me let me see here yeah makes sense to me okay so let's see here unfortunately there's no instructions or anything but I mean it shouldn't be too difficult to figure this out um, let me see, so we put, this guy goes in, oh, okay, so there is definitely more room, so if you put this here, okay, so you just gotta basically put this guy in here, there you go, it fits perfectly, I mean, it's obviously made for this, so all good there, and then, um, I would assume this goes in here. Okay. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason there is no screw in this side here, which, uh, you know what? I know why, because that's where the cable is supposed to go. Okay, look at that. We are learning here. Yay. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where the cable is supposed to go. 
so that when you put it back in there's room for it to connect okay cool cool all right guys so put the screw here let's see okay this seems more complicated than it really should be it's a freaking screw man why don't you go in here Not happening. Okay. Maybe this needs to go the other way. You know, guys, I don't understand this. It's almost as if these are not the right screws. All right, so I finally get this thing installed. Uh, so uh, a few tips. So I did use the screws that came with it. They did work. Um, However, don't use this guy, you know, that comes with the actual case. Don't use that one for these screws. You need some with more, um, you know, you just need a bigger screwdriver than this. So I just used this guy right here, you know, and uh, you just got to really jam it in there. And uh, but be careful, you know, put these um, whatever the hell they're called, put these uh, small things. Yeah. These things here, put them underneath and then, uh, you know, keep doing it uh, because you don't want to be too forceful because you don't want that, that screw to break through here, right? So just be careful with that. But anyway, so I put only two. There's really no need. Uh, like I said, this one doesn't even have anything, so you can't put anything there. And honestly, this is secure. I mean, it isn't going anywhere. So two is fine. Put it in the opposite sides over here so, it, you know, it's sturdy. And uh, that's it. Now the only thing you have to do is attach the cables to this guy right here. Now, as you, you know, have seen, there are no instructions, nothing on how to do this. The only instruction that comes with the case is how to actually assemble uh, or, you know, the board inside here, which is great. But there's nothing on, okay, what do I do now? Where does the red go? Where does the black go? So I actually had to, had to look it up online. Um, there is, there are markings here. So this one, We'll say plus and the one on top uh, will just says fan. So just to show you that, that's where the fan goes. So anyway, the way it works, the red one goes into the plus and the black one goes into the other one. So let's just um, put these here. Maybe just go in there. Okay. And uh, that's it. And then you basically just you know just close the case just make sure it all fits nicely shouldn't be a problem and uh that's it guys that's all there is you know everything is good everything's fine here there you go all good and uh now you just gotta you know put those screws back in here and once it came with the case I'm just going to do that off camera. I mean, uh, you know, you're screwing it together. There's no signs to that. So that's it when it comes to assembling the fan. So that's it, guys. As you saw, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't that complicated. Uh, we just had a few hiccups with the fan, but, you know, it all worked out. I mean, honestly, this should take you two, three minutes at most. I mean, you know, the, the thing that's going to take the longest is, you know, screwing it in and, you know, unscrewing it and screwing it back in and that kind of stuff. So that's it, guys. Uh, all the links to the um, uh, the ones that I've purchased will be in the comments section. These are my Amazon affiliate links. Uh, please use them if you consider purchasing this. I do get a little kickback. It helps me with the channel so I can buy more stuff and review it and show it to you folks and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for more. Um, I will give you a little sneak peek. I purchased the Nintendo... Sorry. 8-bit dough, there you go, 8-bit dough pro controller for, you know, this little guy here. So stay tuned for that one. I will have a review of this guy. I'll show you what it works for and all that goodness. Um, it works for a lot of, uh, you know, computers and uh, devices and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Check me out on all the social media platforms. Just type in my name, Bojan Dulabik or Dulabik Studio. And I'll see you soon. Thanks.